So today's talk will be about STEMI location. How do you figure out from the EKG where the um, occlusion is? There are a couple of patterns that you have to recognize. If you see the ST elevations in lead 1, AVL, V5 and V6, those correspond to the lateral leads. This will tell you that most likely this is the leftmost part of the heart. This is what we call a lateral ST elevation MI. And usually the artery that is occluded is the circumflex. If you see an occlusion in leads 2, 3 and AVF, those are the leads that correspond to the inferior part of the heart. And this is what we call an inferior ST elevation MI. And the culprit artery is the RCA. Now, if you see ST elevations in lead V1 and V2, if you remember uh, how V1 and V2 are located, they're usually on the anterior part of the chest. But this corresponds to the septum, and that's why we call it a septal infarct. Septal infarct. And this corresponds to the LAD region. Now, V3 and V4 are more to the lateral side, but it's on the anterior side of the heart. And if you see ST elevations in V3 and V4, then we call it an anterior MI, and also the culprit artery is the LAD, because remember the LAD comes in like that and supplies both those areas. One thing that I have to note is that Sometimes you can see ST elevations, uh, let's say V2 to um, V5. So they don't go with a certain pattern. Or maybe part this pattern, maybe part this pattern. So one thing you have to bear in mind is that the lead location might affect your reading. Because the EKG shows you what is happening right now. You go back to your patient and see where the leads are uh, are placed and they might be misplaced. If they are not misplaced, then this means that this artery is affecting two regions and you would call it, for, exa for example, anterior septal. If you have, let's say, one AVL and then V3, V4, V5 and V6, this is what we call anterolateral. One other thing that um, people might forget or might even not know about is that AVR is the lead that is found on the right part of uh, the patient's body, usually on his right arm. And it really does not correspond to uh, a critical part of the heart. So, you might see some changes in that, but uh, physicians usually disregard it. What I want you to remember is that if you see ST elevation in AVR, where the STs are more than one millimeter, and if you see other reciprocal changes in other leads, And what I mean by that is our um, SC depressions in the lateral leads, inferior leads. You have to remember that this might be a left main occlusion. And that's a catastrophe. Basically, you're saying that the left side of the heart, the circumflex and the LAD are not receiving any blood. But this is not a 100% specific finding because SC elevations in AVR can also be seen in cases where you have triple vessel disease and it can also be seen um, in sub endocardial ischemia. This is not as important as when you have a patient with a left main. So all what you have to do is be alert and make sure you take care of this patient because the left main inclusion is a catastrophe.